So, Bao Special Treat ini subong upon natin dua kabantog ng mga director sa patag sa pelikula, director Peke Galiaga. Good morning, sir. Mayang aga, Jay. Mayang aga. And direct Laurie. Yes, good morning, sir. Good morning. Okay, first of all, ari diri sila, kay may sini ni sila, nga ginubra diri sa Bacol, Negros, sa Abril, mapagwa na sila buwas, no? Ang um, buwas na? Oo. Buwas na, pero karoon sa gabi, ang ano ya, ang premiere. <coughs> That's right, Jay. So, kanday sino, nga diri nyo gin sila nga, diri nyo, uh, uh, ang premiere, diri nyo ubrahon sa Bacolod? Te, um, the original plan of the FDCP was, uh, They got the master directors in the Philippines, and they said, "Okay, he mo kamo sang films nyo, pero dapat go to your hometown and shoot in your hometown. It's a terrific idea." So, si Mel Chonglo went to Quezon City, Quezon City, sa Quezon Province, sa Quezon Province. Si Chito Ronyo went to Samar Leyte, Samar, Samar, Mario J sa Bohol. So we went to. To Negros, as usual. Okay, so let's go to the movie. Ang ini nga movie, this is again another collaboration between you and Derek Lor. How was it, Derek Lor, coming up with an Ilonggo cast, Ilonggo crew, everything Ilonggo? How is it working here? We were never scared about the production staff coming from Negros. We knew that we weren't going to, we were going to have a lot of savings because uh, our production staff is going to come from here. Okay. And uh, we, we do have a lot of people here, so we used a lot of people. We only had uh, only four people in our staff were not from Negro. After the, um, when the movie was done, when you saw it for the first time, how did you feel with the, you know, with the outcome? Um, it's a small movie, but small movie in terms of budget, small movie in terms of walang war scene, walang revolution, walang, you know, walang World War II or, or, or zombies or anything. It's a small film. But, but the subject matter is so big. It's life, it's death, it's art, it's forgiveness, it's becoming friends, it's falling in love. Um, everybody says falling in love, ten-year-old boy with cherry heels. It's the walang sex, walang sex. Um, so these are big big, big things that are in a very small package. And it's one of the best things we've ever done. You've seen how Filipino movies are, may certain formula, amuna, mm. and dapat amuni para maging box office. Mm. How about this movie? What can you say about this movie right now that you've done? Like you're saying, um, it's the jewel in your crown. <laughs> what, what makes you say so? Well, well to begin with, this, this film got rated A. Mm -hmm. And apparently, it's the first rated A a unanimous and vote. Mm -hmm. There were 12 people voting. All of them said this is an A, walang B, and they are responding to they are responding to the love, the, the chemistry be, between Chino and and, and Sherry and, and what it means. So uh, that's why I want a lot of people to come and see it because if they do see it, word of mouth will happen. Eh? Uh, Malakasin chemistry, so it's the love scene, the the love story is is massa. It's really 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 massa. But you know that it's the kind of ano, it's the kind of film that that would have been very hard to sell to producers. To producers, yeah. That's what the editor said. Every scene we don't know where it's going. In the well, without telling anybody the ending, the ending is not massa. That that's the only oops. So. Hadukuya. I mean, so when we're watching it, do you see any more movies that will be done here with you guys? To begin with, this is about the eighth or let's say ten movies round round that have been shot completely in Negros, from Kabit to Mrs. Montero, which was soft porn and Unfaithful Wife, and then Silani J. Abelio did Ligao Lihim, all in Ilongo, Ligao Lihim, that was in all Ilongo. You know, because every time we shot here, our professional team from Negros, who work in Negros and live in Negros, are as good, if in many ways better than the yeah. Manila team. So why? The role of uh, Sheree Hill here, she's not just the actress, but also the producer for the movie. How did that come about? Um, she, 
we knew that uh, Sherry was going to be in the lead, mm -hmm. uh, but when she found out that uh, we had this much of a grant and we had to shoot outside of Luzon, mm -hmm. and she knew that th that we were in major in financial, we will be in financial trouble. She decided to uh, invest in, mm -hmm. in the film, so that makes her uh, an executive producer. Mm -hmm. But not only that, even creatively, uh, uh, she. She, you can actually call her an actual producer of this. She worked very closely with, uh, with Wango and with us in uh, coming up with the final script. But without spoiling the movie, see, Sherry is um, typecast as Contra Vida. But in this movie, what's the role of that? Yeah, but we, we, we did have a press conference in, in, in Manila. Mm -hmm. I, think, uh, I think it's to Wango's credit that he didn't try to force the people to accept Sherry as a sweetie, sweetie Sharon Cuneta. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, this is the bagong Sherry. In the, I mean, he started with Sherry as the monster. Contrabida mm -hmm. uh, si Sherry. I mean, antipatica siya. She's this drunk who's at the verge of suicide. She scares the boy. But the boy is not scared. He's fascinated by her. So the starting point is Contrabida pa rin si, si mm -hmm. Sherry. And then unti-unti something starts to develop between the two of them. And I think that, that, that dynamic that happens, mm -hmm. that tension that happens, is the movie. In real terms, we spent 2.5 million pesos, but the movie is worth like 7 million. Again. Because yeah. of all the contributions of, uh, no, uh, from Negro. I, I don't want to mention one, because at, at, even, even a very, a, a, a very modest um, recording studio here in Villamonte, they, they gave us. They gave us charity. We should give them charity. But <laughs> it's We were there. We were dubbing the uh, They knew what we were doing. They wanted to be part of it. So we were so grateful. I mean, of course, uh, on on the premiere night, we will mention everybody, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But it, I, I can't mention one because everybody gave. Any butterflies in your stomach on premiere night in? No. <laughs> no, um, uh, usually yes. No, big uh, butterfly ako sa sa showing sa showing sa Manila sa sa Rockwell. I was scared too. What? Uh, do we love this story too much? So we're so we close. Too close. <laughs> yeah, yung parang I love it when the anak mo yung anak mo yung uh, yung pelikula, di ba? So. So I'm sure a lot of people, they love their children, they don't know that they're super brats and everybody else hates them. So we didn't know, uh, okay, I love this movie, but will other people love it? And after that, well, it had good reviews. Yeah, especially mm -hmm. once uh, uh, see Malu Santos from ABS-CBN came to me, I hate you. <laughs> Why'd she say that? Oh, that's a wonderful compliment. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, tonight's going to be the premiere, and then yes, tomorrow we'll be showing. The regular showing. We'll be showing for in how many days, from September 11 to? 17, for se seven days, regular run, in all SM cinemas nationwide. All right, so hope to see you in the movies. Oh, yeah, and I hope to see all of you in the movies. So. Okay, so we'll see you later, Direct Lord, Direct uh, Peke. We could invite our televiewers to watch the movie Sonata. I always find it very <laughs> uncomfortable <laughs> inviting everyone. But <laughs> see you sa Sinehan. Uh, I'm sure you'll enjoy it. All right, mm. anyway, thank you very much, Direct, direct Lord Reyes, Direct uh, Peke Galeana. Thank, yeah. thank you for having us. Okay, okay. thank you very much. Okay, I'm going to go to Sonata on September 11 to 17. Kita na kita dito sa Cinema One sa SM para sa Sinina Sonata. Dugan pa yung mga balita. Ilas pagbaliksang The Morning Show.